That would be that would be our friend Diablo. And we do Indeed. have a Durple. Interesting. A Durple Leon Lone Star. Fairly safe, except for the Durple. And now that there's a Clunk and Genji and a Vinny on the enemy team, that Durple is not going to have a good time. But as you, as you have said, the focal point of this build might end up being the the um, Leon, or perhaps even the Lone Star if he, go, if he gets far enough. Yeah, okay, but just seems... like you said yourself, if Leon is indeed the carrier of this team, he might have some trouble against Clunk. That and the fact that there's also a Vinny on the enemy team will mean that there's an awful lot of burst. Yeah, a lot of burst against very squishy characters. This Correct. might spell trouble for JIS. Yep. Though this map is very good for both teams. The Clunk can do dive bombs, the Vinny has the uh, aerial advantage. Genji can maybe get some more reliable uh, Kunza. And as you, as you have noticed, the Lone Star on JS's team has not got Dynamite at base. Huh. However, they are doing a great job at controlling the center of the map, and, D and Team SLD definitely needs to uh, prevent this from happening. Indeed. We are seeing a small scrimmage going on at the top lane, but nothing much is, uh, nothing intense going on yet. Just uh, some normal uh, Fort Seif. Though we could yep, see it, Leon it making some plays. Yeah, it does seem like uh, Vinny is taking care of the bottom lane uh, when he gets the chance. Mm -hmm. Parashock taking some minor damage from Durple's cat. Seems that the two streams are slightly out of sync, though, unfortunately. Yeah, seems like it. Uh, I might be also a little bit uh, behind you, but uh, we'll deal with it. Unmuted. Sorry about that, ladies and ladies. Be... I had to take a banana break. Banana break? Banana break. It's where you go get a banana and you break things. This is as good as breaks you can ever get, actually. One of the better ones, that's for sure. Yeah. Yep. The best kind of break. But as you can see, we have seen the clunk pick against uh, to counter the Durple. Might and the video James I was expecting not... to see is also here. Yep. Yep. Uh, as this as this match goes on, uh, I think uh, the advantage will be on uh, SLD's side. So JIS might want to get a hurry on and just finish this match as soon as they can before this clunk will just obliterate them. Mm -hmm. If a Clunk and the Vinny get both get strong at a similar timing, then um, the enemy team won't be able to react in time and just die to the burst. We see a failed explosion go off on uh, SLD's side though, which means it's on cooldown and he's missing 40 HP. Indeed. But it looks like he has his regen intact. Oh, can you get the explosion in time? Boom! Good night, eggplant. Oh, yep. I'm way behind you. But, oh well. We have Diablo with the first blood for Clunk. This is not so good for JIS because Clunk could really use that Sola. Looks like Diablo had to make sure that he reclaimed the first blood after he gave it up last round. Well, to a Clunk, it's as good as, it's as, good as anyone to uh, give the first blood to. This, the more the uh, Clunk can take advantage of his early game, the more he can uh, exercise his. more he can, like. Have his late game be there faster than the enemy team, which means that, that uh, his weaker end game is not really yep. met as much by the enemy team. All three of SLD's uh, members hiding in the bush. We'd have seen damage on tongue picked up by uh, Twio. Fail not explosion Twio. once more. Yep, yep that's this... unfortunate. That's unfortunate, and it happens just a little bit. Oh, and that could be a dead laser. Yeah, that's, that's a dead silver. laser right there. What silver a, goes down. What a bad dash. Right and the Durple the manages to escape as well with his life. Shirzy and Tuyu doing some great damage to the clunk right now. He's going to have to back off. Yeah, he does. And um, everyone regroups and so does red JIS. Base. Indeed. All of them going back with uh, Shirzy getting. Uh, the oh, boots. we're gonna see an early Arbe. Blueprints are coming out. Ooh, Arbe for Clunk. There we go. Reflect picked up. Ooh, that's 
not so good for JIS. Means that the uh, do, it means that JIS can now initiate hiding behind their reflective wall of metal. They just have to hope that on the advance that Leon doesn't already have silence on his tongue. Mm-hmm. Yep. If they do, that would wreck the clunk would end up dying because the Durple would be able to set up shop and nuke him before he could uh, do anything. We see a nice fight go on at top. Unfortunately, the Genji cocoons the Genji, the uh, Durple, protecting him from Clunk's explosion. Happens far too often. Yeah, happens far too often to far better people. And Shirzy just getting the free farm from both sets of droids on the bottom there. The same tactic we saw Toilet Humor employ yesterday, and Clever Girl as well. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so and we have a snare, Vinny. Goodbye, Vinny. Uh, yeah, that's Vinny a dead Vinny. Down. The Some blessing nice... doing not just just blessing from Genji doing just doing too little to save him. Yeah, uh, Genji's blessing right now isn't too helpful for the team, but as this match goes on, his blessings will be very, very useful. Mm -hmm. They'll end up influencing how all the fights go. If the Genji misses a uh, blessing or doesn't have get one off in time before, say, if the uh, Leon silences him, then that yep. could ruin and a team fight. Let's see if we get a push on either turret here. It seems that um, the Leon is not uh, is opting not to farm the farm bell for sides uh, droids, and uh, we will see Shirzy pushing out the bottom lane. Although Diablo and Silver do take it out again. Yep, Shirzy throwing that dynamite from above. What great fire rate. Some nice damage done to Diablo by Shirzy there. Yeah, Shirzy just spamming those dynamites as soon as they're off cooldown, just throws them away. And we might see Silver go down here. Okay, Shirzy not overzealous going... I mean, Silver not going overzealous against Shirzy there. Though he's yep. being very, very risky there. Very low HP. Yeah, but he does teleport back, so he won't die for now. Some great snare trap placement by Eggplant there, preventing the dive bombs from Diablo. Muted. Yep, in terms of levels, both teams seem to be kind of balanced, although JIS does have a little bit of an advantage over SLD. And it seems that uh, the Eggplant has picked up a range on Cat Shot, allowing him to harass from a long range very easily. Genji gets uh, tongued into a snare trap, but they cannot follow up because the enemy team, because Team SLD just protects him fast enough. Yep. That Lone Shirzy Star just harassing that Clunk so bad. Oh, Clunk is in a very pretty bad situation, but ends up popping explosion just in time to try and save his life. But Could Shirzy he? picks nope. up the kill with a nice dynamite. Picks up the throw. kill, well done. Well done. A fantastic jump. Well done. Great use of dynamite jump, and pretty much just harassing Clunk over the course of the match. Just not allowing him to, to be with full HP for more than a few seconds. Now we'll see both Lone Star and Durple doing a lot of damage to the top turret. Yeah, that top turret is going down, definitely. Yep. That's the, the first turret down. The will not defend it to go down. That's just showing how powerful Durple and Lone Star are a pushing pair. Indeed. That pushing power could spell victory for JIS if they keep this going. But that's why SLD might want to take this match a little more slowly, build up their farm, and just wreck the enemy team once they have Clunk uh, at full damage and um, and Genji with full uh, protections. Unfortunately, they are three levels behind the enemy team, though it does seem that Genji has at least two ranks of his heal. Indeed, very useful for his team, very useful for, for team fights as well. Um, but that could be too little, too late for now. And we will we'll see the solar cloud on the uh, Vinny. I'm not sure how long that's been there, though. Unfortunately, Tuvio gets caught, gets caught by a cocoon, but um, Genji managed to get out of the situation because of the uh, good cocoon play. Yep. She's taking some minor damage from the turret before to back up. Gets the solar on the bottom lane, and takes the health pack in the middle. Shirzy and Eggplant pushing this bottom turret very, 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 very quickly. Very quickly. A lot of damage has been done there. 
indeed about 25 percent uh, of the turrets health are now gone another push like that another couple of pushes and this tower goes bye bye Lone Star exercising his early game muscles yeah, yes, playing very aggressively, knowing that Klon could be very troublesome late game. They're trying to take him out as soon as they can, just putting immense pressure on SLD. The worst thing you can do is let, let Klon relax. If you, can get, if, you, if you let him relax, he can end up looking for a more interesting team fight opportunity. Then we see a good explosion going on. Eggplant taking a lot of damage from his nuke and the explosion. But Red they Team manages to survive that explosion. Manages to escape from that uh, inevitable death. Well, not so inevitable, apparently. Hmm. This has been proven not. Yep. Yeah, yes, just putting so much pressure on SLD. They keep on pushing, they keep on destroying those bots and getting that solo. Lone Star is getting so much solo from those bots. It seems that Lone Star is going to be the main focus of this uh, team, actually. The Leon is still playing a support role, and the Derpel only really being a backup uh, source of damage in the team fight. Yeah, damage but some really and pushing solid power. plays. Yeah, and Lone Star just raining down those uh, uh, those dynamite sticks over and over and over. I I really, other than when he's teleporting back to base, his uh, his dynamite is never on cooldown. Mm. Excuse me, uh, always Off on cooldown. Cool yeah. Always on cooldown, just throws them as soon as the cooldown ends. Just There's raining no reason hell not. on so... enemies and turrets. Yep, the Vinny taking a lot of damage while trying to defend this turret from both missiles and the dynamite sticks. Yep, and Lone Star and alone Shirzy doing so, so much damage. He but he might dies. end up going down to the explosion. Yeah, dies to clunk, spite, and explosion. That's too bad. It was a very good push by Lone Star there, but he just was in a bad very place at bad by, time. By both teams here, but Diablo misses the explosion, which would have been critical, and it would have been the only, the main part of uh, how Eggplant would have, might have died in that situation. If they had gotten more than one kill out of that, that would have really helped them out. Maybe even letting them uh, push out the lanes a bit more, and uh, maybe even get back their map control. Yeah. At this point, the Lone Star is doing very well for himself, though. Yeah, definitely. He just keeps pushing, keeps getting that solo, keeps getting fed, keeps getting better and better items, being just a huge threat for SLD. Both as a harasser and as a pusher, Lone Star is very strong right now. Indeed. And he's just <laughs> not letting up, let making sure his dynamites and missiles are flying out in every opportunity he gets them. Yep, so we'll shields see popping up. Pumps. Eggplant taking a lot of damage from the clone, and we might even see him go down here. Diablo doing a pretty good job chasing him, but um... And that's the bottom turret going down. Yep. yep. Uh, a lot of the a lot of damage trading hands here. And we all uh, see a team fight. And Lone Star gets no cocooned, one... but manages to escape. What a wonderful juke! The enemy team just doesn't know what's happening, and they just couldn't get him. That's Unfortunately, he will bad. not be here to defend that to defend that push. Eggplant doing a pretty good job at defending, but uh, gets cocooned. We might end up seeing him going down here, and we will see Eggplant die. Yeah, Eggplant this dies great again. Great bursting. Though we will see maybe the uh, clunk going down here. Shows he's doing a lot of damage with those dynamites. Unfortunately, yep, Diablo does manage to get out. Escape. Yep. The JF stream is slightly behind the SLD t SLD stream. Shirzy doing some minor damage to the front turret, the back turret rather. Genji caught out on his own, but only minor damage is done to him. Yep, seems like it. And the blue team sticking together, trying to defend the bottom lane. Mhm. Mm that was a Those potential catch on Derpol. Doing some great job harassing. Genji we might just see Eggplant barely down making here. this through. Oh wow, that was way too close. We might also close. see Eggplant going down here. Nope, does not go down. But Diablo takes a lot of damage. 
Hold, both teams take a lot yeah, of damage Clunk, from that, that Clunk exchange. and Genji taking a serious amount of damage. Still but pulling through, see but... Vinny going down. Yeah, but Vinny just couldn't make it. SLD really need to put on the defensive here, or else it's going to be GG. Mm -hmm. If they even let the uh, enemy team get 5 seconds to, um, with no one defending that turret, then they will have a really difficult time. Though we will see Shirzy getting yeah. cocooned, Eggplant taking oh, more damage from the Pokemon goes, goes down. down! Oh, wow. Very Diablo well plays by actually by getting Diablo. the lead in the kills. Very useful for him. Mm -hmm, but is it too f too little too late? We will have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see, but currently it does seem like that. Mm. Lone Star being a very big problem having to uh, deal with. Unless he gets cocooned, he will not. We will probably won't be going down. A great bull, pushing back all the pushing back both initiators. Misses the dynamite throw on the Vinny, but uh, is still has the high has the uh, advantage there. Shows he getting cocooned, but um, does get initiated on, taking a lot of damage from uh, the reflected dynamite and the uh, explosion. And it seems that Leon has got exploding clones. Very useful. But as we, as we might not know, fully even fully leveled exploding clones only do 10 damage to a turret. And we will see Diablo getting caught out of position by a ball. But oh, that explosion leaves out. Diablo with very little health. Could he make it? He bites the ball, but he doesn't bites the ball, but have he gets enough HP. By those cats. Yeah, by those cats, by that turret. And Diablo the is down. Damage. This is very bad. Blue team has to back off and defend. While the red Diablo team being has their the main chance damage to push in. Diablo being their main, main, their highest source of damage at the moment, and if he goes down, they won't be able to do very much. Shows doing a great job pushing the lane. Silver getting caught out of position, but it doesn't matter because he's too fast for them to catch. Shows he getting in, pinning Vinny and pinning Vinny in the corner. We might oh, see him going Vinny down. Oh, but Vinny manages to pull through with that shield. Well done, Genji. Mm -hmm. A terrific save by Genji. The well, red team seems However, to be pushing Vinny... against the turret very, very hard. And that hard. turret is going to go down in second. That's yeah, a lot that of damage. Yeah, that turret just hands. simply melts in place with all of those attacks. It's down to three bars now. A lot of damage yeah. trading hands. More than 50% of his health just gone in a flash. And the the, the clunk the, this is his explosion, allowing Durple to siege up and do some more, even more damage to the enemy team. Indeed, red team is backing off for now, using the the solo they've managed to earn to upgrade their skills. And we'll see Star both levels of incendiary be before the extra stick. Thus seems to be the case. I think it's going for the uh, incendiary because uh, some of the enemies he managed to almost kill uh, managed to teleport uh, away back to base. So that incendiary mm. will keep them uh, from teleporting back. He also does some good damage to the turret as well. It looks like we might end up seeing a good ball play. Bringing the uh, the uh, Vinny out of position, but he does have the cloak in order to uh, ensure that he lives. Yeah. Meanwhile, the SLD red team are is pushing through pushed top back. Line. SLD are getting J pushed back with the shields now down. That turret might be going down any second now. And the that's dynamite exactly does hit. the case. Yep. Goes down in second. Yeah, and that turret like Diablo, is down. I would not initiate if I was Diablo right now. He's looking pretty low on HP compared to the enemy team. Indeed, and Diablo, and Diablo might be going down now. He's and Diablo going to does explode, not go, he's going to explode no. does no damage to himself because does, of the hard heart. Yeah, Shows and he, lives. he doesn't even uh, damage, I think he didn't even hit, uh, hit Lone Star there. No, sure he managed to get out with the jump pad. Yeah. Though I don't think uh, he would have been hit by it anyway because of the uh, third jump he would have had. We will see the Storm Drum doing, doing very little by this Genji right now. Diablo just waiting for the time to jump in with an explosion. And he gets in the good situation. Gateplant immediately goes down to the insane amount of burst by the enemy team. Indeed, that by that explode, that Genji just wrecking uh, Durple there. And Red Team seems to be backing off just a little bit. 
Well, with the, their, a lot of damage is lost because the Derpa went down. At the moment, oh, Shirzy gets p cocooned. We'll Shirzy gets cocooned. Will he done. escape? Half Shirzy... of HP is gone, but he manages to pull through. With an excellent ball play. And it seems that the uh, Genji does have heal and getting out of the hood, allowing to uh, just uh, manage to. Oh, Shirzy get his team out jumping of the tree. back Shirzy... right into the fray, but he manages to escape. With his uh, agility and just and pure just speed, overall good ball plays. Yeah, indeed, very good uh, ball plays by Shirzy here, just pinning them great... over and over and over. Mm -hmm. Also, terrific um, uh, dynamite play here with Shirzy just mm. spamming them with the uh, dynamite over and over again, Do you just not leaving the enemy them alone. Team? Yeah, they gets pulled into the enemy team, but the damage he took was completely negated by the fact that the Genji has Moon Nectar on Cocoon. Now we're just playing footsies with an awful lot of ordnance going flying around right now. Though they do, do you see the initiation? Oh, there goes the Genji. The derp. No, the Derpel actually gets a kill. Against, the Derpel gets the kill on the on the uh, mini. Against he died in. Yeah, Way Vinny, too, uh, now, now gone. That burst was very useful for the blue team, and now with that gone. They might have to go on the defensive. Mm -hmm. Seeing some great damage to, uh, being pumped out consistently by Eggplant here. Shows against Cocoon, but he's covered by Eggplant, allowing him to get out easily. Indeed. Uh, Blue's drill is under attack. Not a big surprise constant as Red Team. Flowing into. Indeed, constant damage, constant harassment by the entirety of the Red Team. This is looking pretty bleak. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would not hold my breath to say that uh, SLD would be able to bring this back. Though I would not say that they are completely out of the competition. If they do get a good team wipe here, then it could could spell the end of us of uh, JIS. That's only if they get a team wipe. Indeed, and even then, I think JIS they might have, to... have a chance to escape, uh, to actually get mm -hmm. the win. Yep. I'm not saying that a scene wipe would be a spell victory for SLD. A lot of damage yep. being pumped back into the blue team's face by the dynamites there. Though the prefab cocoon is doing some nice harassment damage to the Lone Star. Vinny goes in tunnel vision against Vinny the enemy goes team. Down by Vinny Lone ends up going Star. down by Lone Star. Some yeah, great plays by face both. Might. Very dangerous, and it seems Lone Star will be getting the extra stick. At last. Further compounding how much damage is actually going to be done by those dynamites. Uh, this this might be the GG push by JIS. Mm -hmm. Both Leon and the Lone Star coming in through. And uh, would you just look at Eggplant just keeping the Doing... blue team at bay? Look at those cats. Mm -hmm. If they try to approach, they take a blue lot of damage. Blue team is We've seen... terrified. Simply Maybe terrified by those so. cats. Maybe even too much so. Perhaps they could have killed Eggplant, Eggplant in that in that situation. Indeed, and now Red Team is back together with Lone Star just trying to dish out as much damage as he can. Diablo might go down, nope. Diablo doesn't go down from the dynamite because he managed to get back to his uh, nope, But core this time. might be a GG, the, the drill's health yep. is going down so quickly and that's GG ladies and gentlemen. That is gone. JIS winning this match, well done. Therefore, well, the Well congratulations round. out to uh, JIS. Solid victory all around. Indeed, very well done. A uh, great team play by JIS. Further compound the fact that they were tournament winners. Yes, and it definitely makes me contra it contradicts the seeding entirely. I really think that this uh, a list shortened season uh, gave them a very uh, disproportionate matchup. <clears throat> They will now, of course, be seeing uh, Discovery Channel in round two. That will be a very interesting match to see. Some two very, very, good... very strong teams. Yeah, two very powerful, very, very uh, intimidating teams, actually, uh, going uh, head to head. This will be a w one to watch, definitely. And thank you, ladies and gents, for watching. We will keep you updated on the Summer Knots Twitter account. If it isn't already over, go ahead and hop over to Ishida Suki's channel to view what's left of Judge V3A channel. I'm not even sure it's still going, but it would be good to check in.
and thank you very much uh, to Brintendo and Creepypie.